Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in our Curly Hair 101 series, I wanted to discuss a couple techniques that people use with curly hair, such as dry popping, wet popping, and some protective styles for our hair as we sleep. At the end of this video, you will see a demo of me doing um, dry popping and wet popping. So with popping, really what it is, is when your hair is wet and you've applied product, you can either diffuse from there, leave the house air dry, or what some people like to do is to dry pop. And what that means is you'll lay down a microfiber towel or a old t-shirt, and you can lay it at a good level where you can put your head upside down and lower your curls slowly onto the towel or the t-shirt and then tie your hair up that way. That way your hair is totally up, it's wet, but the curls have laid down in their pattern so that they're also in the kind of protected and also forming their, um, their pattern as they dry. This could be a great technique if you wanna sleep with your hair wet as it will protect your wet hair from rubbing against um, your pillowcase. This is also a great technique if you want to air dry but you have some time before you leave or you wanna help encourage the curls kind of stay up. Um, this would be great for somebody with wavy or looser curls as it will help because sometimes when our hair is wet as it dries and we're not gonna diffuse it, it tends to lose its curls depending on the products that we use. So some people use dry popping for either 10 minutes, a couple hours, an hour, or they sleep in it overnight. I used to do this a lot, and it really was great for the rest of my hair. Keeping my hair intact is when I would take it out after, I think I'd usually keep it in for 20 minutes, because if I kept it longer, here would dry really flat as that's where I tie it up. So the towel I was using was the Diva Curl Microfiber Towel. I just got this Only Curls, I believe it's called. This Only Curls towel. <coughs> and I like it a lot because it's so long. It's about as long. There you can see. So I would plop it in and I have plenty to really tie up. The Diva Curl Towel, the original one, was pretty short. So when I tie it up, I was really kind of grasping at the ends of the material. I do use this over a shower cap when I deep condition and I have my hair wet in the deep conditioner at night. But again, I'm not leaving my hair that way. But you'll see a lot of curlies on different videos use it for that reason, to help keep their curls up as it's drying. But they don't necessarily want it to diffuse. So that's a really good protective way to dry your hair and keep it nice, the curls all intact, without having to lose the curls or anything like that. Another technique is um, wet popping. So obviously this has nothing to do with drying our hair. And you might have seen me do this in a couple of my videos if you've, looked, if you've watched them. And what it is, is after I'm done out of the shower and conditioned, before I've applied product, I will put this over my entire head with all the moisture so I don't lose any of the wetness in my hair when I go to put makeup on or when I wanna get ready or I have some things to do because my hair, even though it seems to take a while for the roots to dry, the outside of it um, or the you know the exposed part really can dry fast and get kinda of get frizzy. I can apply product right away but sometimes I like to just get ready and do makeup first. So I will wet plop it. That way when I take it out, when I'm ready to do the product, I my hair is just as wet as if I came out of the shower. Again, having your hair really wet, especially if you have curls like mine, is really important when it comes to applying for product if you really don't wanna have frizz. So that's a really nice way um, to use both of those, both of these things, and I demo those at the end of the video, or if you've seen my previous videos before. Another thing that I wanted to discuss is quickly is um, protective styles for our curls. A lot of people can get two, three, even four days of curls out of their hair. I can get about two to three days depending on what products that I've used. In order to get two and three and four days out of your hair, if you're not gonna completely soak it and just not shampoo it, and maybe you'll, con you'll co-wash it, is to be protective of your hair when you're sleeping. A lot of people get satin or silk pillowcases or, hat or, or caps that help keep their hair intact for the next day. Then when they wake up in the morning, they just take it off, spritz their hair, or whatever technique that they'll use. I'm gonna do a video on that later. They go about their day with their second day curls. For a lot of people, people like their second day curls much more than their first day curls. So you can use a satin pillowcase or a cap. Another way is to do what's called a pineapple. So, and I will demo it for you now, <clears throat> is when you take your hair, 
you put it all the way above your head so that when you're sleeping against your pillowcase, and it should be satin, though mine is not, um, it keeps your hair protected. I only do two loops and some things will fall, but I sleep like this. Sometimes I'll even take this little part and clip it right here. That way when I'm sleeping, whether it's this way, this way, or on my back, my curls are pretty well protected. Then in the morning, I undo my clip. My hair, sometimes I have ones that have fallen, but I'm gonna re-spritz my hair anyways. And then I just take it out. It's a very loose. And then I spritz my hair and I'll do a video about refreshing our, our hair. So that is what's called a pineapple, or as my daughter likes to call, the chicken. And so that is another protective way to keep our curls intact. That way you can get a couple days wear out of your curls. That's all for this video. Keep watching if you're interested in seeing the demo on how I do dry flop and how I wet flop. See you next time. So here we're gonna first demo wet plopping. Now my hair is soaking wet out of the shower but I have no product applied and I use this uh, shower cap. For I have two small children so sometimes my showers are pretty quick and I don't have enough time from the shower um, to apply my product. So this buys me a little bit time keeping my hair totally wet for when I'm ready to be able to apply the rest of my product. Or some people like to put their makeup on, get dressed before they put their shirt over their hair to, with frizz. And so this kind of buys us some time or gives us a little bit of um, options when it comes to doing our hair and getting ready for the day. Again, now this is my wet hair, but this time it has got product in it. And I'm gonna show you how to dry plop. I've got the Diva Curl towel there. I lay it on the toilet seat because it's a nice level for me to be able to lower my curls down while helping them keep their natural pattern. I twist the sides. If you're doing this with an old t-shirt, I just make sure that that is where the sleeves are. And then I twist it pretty tight. And you can see where the knot is laying is, for me, tends to lay flat or flatten my hair there. Uh, you can see what I was talking about where the material is a little bit tight for me with this towel, but the only curls towel is a nice length. And that's really it. You can leave it for as long as you want, help air dry your curls a little bit, and that way they kind of enhance and kind of keep their pattern. Try it out.